Yeah, check this Suzu test ride with a grain of salt. I just wanted to highlight the differences between the two. Again, I still feel the step up is a great seat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez. Not paying attention. Wow, how close did she get to me? Jesus. Warning, assholes are closer than they appear. Glad I kept my eyes in my mirrors there because I feel like she was almost to my blind spot. This is the way. I love riding by myself. When I ride by myself, I can sing just like this. And then share it with you guys. No, God! Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fit channel. My name is Brett. And yeah, that was a little bit of a close call there to start my ride here today. I don't know what that lady was thinking. I had my turn signal on plenty of time. I have no idea where she thought I was going. I had basically put my right turn signal on and she hopped into my right blind spot, like on my ass. Anywho, I'm glad I saw her and kind of gave her a little bit of a look because, yeah, just not paying attention. It's that end of the day lull where people are like, I just wanted to go home and... And, and do this and that and not pay attention to people on the road and brr, 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 or something like that <laughs> anyway guys and gals today i'm going to talk about solo riding versus group riding and why i prefer to ride solo So there's advantages to each. I don't mind riding in groups, but for me personally, I just like to get out and ride for myself. Most of the times with group rides, you're on someone else's agenda. Guess whose agenda I'm on right now? Mine. Maybe my wife and kids. But, <laughs> but no, I mean, when I get out here and ride, I go where I want to go, when I want to go there, and there's no one to say, oh, we should go here, oh, let's go this way, like, I don't want to go there, that, that place is dumb, that place is overrated, don't want to go there, but, you know, sometimes you go just to be nice, and you keep your comments to yourself, <laughs> up the daisy, up the hill, and get low, get low, get low. Ooh, that looks like grass, glass, grass. I don't know. Go slow. This isn't going to be a pros and cons. This is just going to be a pros video. If you guys want to chime in with your cons, feel free to put those comments down below. But pro number one, like I have already touched on briefly, is there is no itinerary. You ride where you want to ride, whether it's to the grocery store to pick up some whipped cream and some pudding or if you want to go to the liquor store and get yourself some beers whatever you want to do it's all on you for making that decision you can be an errand boy for yourself you can go put 200 miles before yourself and go to Brahms <laughs> dad <laughs> okay I see what you did there but that's the nice thing about riding by yourself though is the fact that you don't have to rely on anybody. You go when you're ready, and when you're done, you're done. It's just that simple. So when I ride by myself, I also typically, obviously don't talk to anyone else except for you guys, which I don't wanna say you guys is in a bad thing, like you guys. Hey, you guys. God, but <laughs> it is very nice to, when I go out and ride by myself, and ride without filming or recording which during the season is a rarity because i like to stock up footage but when i do go out 
man, oh man, is it nice just to clear the head. And even when I am moto vlogging with you guys here, this is still a good personal space for me to clear my head. Oh, that skunk is still there. Oh, it's really just me and the cameras and the dead skunk on the side of the road. So that helps me get my head into a nice clear space before I have to uh, deal with the realities of real life. <laughs> Another thing that's nice about solo riding is you don't have to worry about other people. You don't have to worry about are they okay because sometimes I will speed a little bit and I will lose them in my rear view mirror from time to time. And especially like when my wife was just starting to ride. Now, I love riding with my wife. I, it's one of my favorite things to do. Don't do that. But man, when she first started riding and I would lose her in my, in my rear view mirrors, I got so worried. Man, there was a couple times that maybe we forgot to turn the gas on and she went a block and stalled out. And then there was a time when she first started riding and we completely ran it out of gas. And then there was a time that I ran it out of gas, so needless to say, sportsters and gas don't get along. <laughs> but again, it kind of goes back to the, the solo ride where it's just, it's just you and everything. You don't have to kind of keep an eye on anything else except for people trying to ram you in the back, trying to turn onto a lake road. So those are kind of the pros of it. Now, the pros that I have come up with for group riding are... Hey, guess what? There's an itinerary. Oh, it's the thing I just said I hated. Yes. A pro of an itinerary for certain types of people is it's a scheduled event. So you are going to be here at XYZ time, and then at ABC time, you're going to build kickstands up, then you're going to ride to this place. Then after you ride to this place, you're going to ride to this place, and then this place, and this place, and then at the end of the day, hey. <laughs> must be the party no um i don't know what that was so the itinerary does serve a purpose it keeps people on a schedule it keeps them on a schedule too because you really you know if you're if you're the one leading the group you really want to make sure everyone is where they need to be because the last thing you want is to have your three-hour group ride turn into like an all-day ordeal because people are lagging behind and they're lollygagging here and lollygagging there and lollygagging here, there, and everywhere. Uh, the next pro of being in a group ride can be the camaraderie that you build. So yes, while being on a solo ride is great for the soul, being part of a group ride, especially if you're running comms, is good for your social life. Now. <laughs> Riding a motorcycle with your friends, there's really not a much better thing to do except for riding solo if you're me. <laughs> I know the times I ride with dad, my wife, my friend Woody and Aaron, the times that we're actually together and we're riding, it's such a great experience. I always like to see if I can push myself a little bit better each time that I'm with those guys just to see if I'm improving as a rider myself. Sometimes I am, and sometimes I'm not. So yeah, you got the camaraderie that goes in with being part of a, a group ride. Make stories together, which there is something to that because then you can go back and, oh dude, you remember that one time we did that thing? And it's like that, I'm like, yeah, man, that was great, yeah. Oh, I know that one episode, that's my favorite. There is something to that. Uh, it's making me smile just kind of thinking about it. And then the last thing, and again, this is just a short list, a pro of riding in a group would be actually if something was to go wrong, you do have people there who can help bail you out. So again, this is the opposite of me not having to worry about other people. You have a ton of other people generally able to help you out should something go wrong. Should your bike break down? Should you go down? I said, what? She said, yeah. I said, no. I mean, heaven forbid that would happen. But if you're by yourself and you're on a country road and you can't get to your phone, you might be S-O freaking S. Whereas if you are with a group, you're most likely 
most likely going to be in the middle of the group and someone there is going to stop and lend a, a helping hand to you. What other pros do you guys have for either solo or group rides and which do you prefer? Do you like riding just by yourself or do you like having other people around you? Uh, really for me, if I'm going to be riding in a group, I want to trust the group. So you really won't see me at too many charity rides and things of that nature. I'm always going to be the one who errs on the side of cautiousism, if that's a word. <laughs> Just because, like Stone Cold Steve Austin said, DTA, don't trust anybody. So with that being said, though, post your comments below. I'd love to hear some feedback on that. And as always, I will catch you on the next Dark Side as this is the way. Step it out, and it's gonna get that stay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>